understanding power by Noam Chomsky. According to a study, about half of a trillion dollar of drug money get transferred internationally every year, more than half of it through American's bank. How many bankers are in jail? None. But if a black kid get caught with a joint, he goes to jail. Every year, an American president presents a rosy state of the nation address. With well-documented facts, Chomsky point out different picture. Society is crashing and in the 11th hour, it is up to the people to wake up and take collective action before it's too late. Regarding ideas, he said, we should not be looking for heroes. We should be looking for good ideas. Regarding education, he said, education is a system of imposed ignorance. How it is, we have so much information but know so little. On keeping the population passive, he said, the more you can increase fear of drugs, crime, welfare mothers, immigrants, and alien, the more you control of people. That's the whole point of good propaganda. You want to create a slogan that nobody is going to be against and everybody is going to be for. Nobody knows what it means because it, not, it does not mean anything. You cannot control your population by force, but it can be distracted by consumption. Regarding optimism, he said that optimism is a strategy for making a better future. Because unless you believe that the future can be better, it's unlikely you will step up and take responsibility for making it so. If you assume that there is no hope, you guarantee that there will be no hope. If you assume that there is an instinct for freedom, there are opportunities to change things. There is a chance you may contribute to making a better world. The choice is yours. There are two problems for our species survival. Nuclear war and environmental catastrophe. And we are moving toward them knowingly. Regarding politics and elections, he said, it is important to bear in mind that political campaigns are designed by the same people who sell toothpaste and cars. Regarding power, he said, concentration of executive power, unless it is very temporary and for specific circumstances, let's say fighting World War II, it's an assault on democracy.